Right, so we've now got three solid poses. We're going to add the fourth, which is going to be the reverse passing pose. So this is going to happen between 13 and 25. And my basic understanding of maths tells me that that should be frame 19. Right here. Now we don't actually want to do much thinking here. All we're going to do is copy and paste the values from frame 7 onto 19, but onto the opposite foot. So we'll do that first of all. So what I'll do is I'm going to select the left foot, I think I'll start with, and I'm going to copy the values from frame 7. Then I'm going to move to frame 19. I'm going to select the right foot, which is my red controller. And I'm going to right click on 19, paste and paste. And you can see that has now taken the pose from frame 7. Okay, so with the right foot still selected, I'm going to go to frame 7. I'm going to copy the values from there. And then what I'll do is change to the left foot. I'm going to go to frame 19, right click and paste those values in there. And hopefully that will work, but it hasn't. And I will show you why. So I'm just going to undo that step. And I'm going to go back to frame um, seven. So you can see I'm actually wanting to copy um, everything from here, but not everything has got keys set on it. If we look at the other foot, this has got translate values keyed as well as the foot roll. Um, but this one does not. So the way that we're going to make sure that it copies everything properly is we're just going to set a key just on this foot before we copy it. So I'll press S on my keyboard. You see now everything goes red. Now I'm going to copy that. And when I move to frame 19 and switch feet, if Jeebus loves me, um, I will be able to paste that over, which it has. So now when I click between 7 and 19, they look identical over here anyway, other than the fact that they've, they've swapped the legs. There's one, one more thing that we need to change though. If you look, when I'm clicking between them, Whilst the feet position is kind of staying consistent, the height is changing. Now we can't just copy and paste the keyframe for the hips because we've got other rotation things going on. So what we're going to do is just go to frame 7 and I'm going to look at my translate Y value which is set to 0 0.076. And I'm just going to put that on here as well. So minus 0 0.076, which is what it should be. And that now has keyed for me because I've got auto key turned on. And when I'm flicking between them, that works. A blooming treat. Okay, so let's play that and see what we're, we're doing. And you can see, now that we've got those passing poses in, it's starting to look a lot more like a walk cycle. So that is the two passing poses done. In the next step, we're going to do the first down pose.